family members and we call ourselves good Muslim and then we are depressed we are sad and then sometimes we lose our families we have children who grow up all on drugs and bad habits because you never spend time with them orphans whose parents are alive because we don't even spend time with our family members and we call ourselves good Muslim and then we are depressed we are sad and then sometimes we lose our families we have children who grow up all on drugs and bad habits because you never spend time with them rather enjoy yourself going on a holiday with your own family so mashallah take your family and go out and enjoy that force yourself to enjoy that little shell that allah has given you to start with what's the point of having a thousand friends when your own family is crying for your company and you cannot spend five minutes with them and you cannot speak with them with a good tongue this is why i read before you the verses of surah al-furqan towards the end where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it very, very clear to us who are the true worshippers of the most merciful. Very clear to us who are the true worshippers of the most merciful. And one of them is, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, when they walk, they walk with humility, humbleness. Humility, humbleness. We do not want to give the impression to others that we are haughty, we are arrogant because we are just one of the rest. Subhanallah. I remember once I was traveling and we had stopped to refuel in one of the we call them petrol stations and there was a group of people in another vehicle who looked at us and started laughing because we were Muslim and they started laughing at us and scoffing and so on and we could see it I told the brothers with me please just ignore them it was actually my family I said just ignore these people and I came out we bought a few you know a little bit of water and drink and whatever else whilst the motor vehicle was refueling and thereafter we came out and happily we went on to the road they had left five minutes before us somewhere down they made an accident a huge accident a very very big accident and we were one of the first people who came in and mashallah tabarakallah that was an opportunity i didn't just look at them and say you guys laughed at me you guys were scoffing you guys were so arrogant and now goodbye no we didn't say that not at all I stopped ignored what happened before let's deal with you are you guys okay is everything fine and I noticed there was injury and in no time not only with my vehicle but a few other people and we took them to the nearest hospital and thereafter we happened to help them tow their vehicle and so many things happened as a result I want to share with you a statement that was uttered to me a month down the line one of the brothers came to visit me and he told me I thought Islam was a very barbaric religion that never ever respected human life and I've changed my mind forever that's all I've changed my mind forever I didn't ask him brother enter the fold of Islam and so on I told him my brother here are three booklets and here are two DVDs. I only want you to know what I believe. Here you are. That's all. That was enough. Subhanallah. By the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At least the bare minimum is the world can become a better place. People can start studying. They can start seeing. They can ask questions. What a great opportunity Allah gave us. This is what's supposed to be the quality of a Muslim. May Allah make us good Muslimin. And I'm sure it's happened to a lot of us. But my brothers and sisters, the worst from amongst us is he or she who behaves in a way that those who already have a not so bad impression of Islam start having a worse impression of Islam. Then we have done a disservice not only to ourselves and to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as well and the deen at large and every other Muslim on the globe. So we call ourselves good Muslim and then we complain about the image of Islam on the globe when we have contributed towards it. Imagine. So it's about time we revisited the rules of the game. Subhanallah. How can someone want to play football when they don't even know the rules of the game? And this brings me to a powerful point. If you want to be a good Muslim, you need to know revelation. 
You need to know what Allah wants from you and you need to know it. It's not good enough to say, well, you know, I was born a Muslim and uh, it's okay. I pray five times a day. Islam is not just about praying five times a day. There are so many people who pray five times a day, but their lives are upside down. They lead their lives like the worst of people. But one thing that happens, they pray five times a day. So there is a hadith of a bankrupt person. And the description of that person is he who comes on the day of judgment with so much good deeds. But because of having usurped the rights of so many others, all these good deeds shall be distributed to other people. And this person is left with no good deeds. And still there are people who are saying he's usurped my rights until their bad deeds are made to be shouldered by him. And then he is cast into hellfire. May Allah protect us. So this is why we say, let us not reduce Islam to just a faith that we should be proud about during Ramadan. Once Ramadan goes, it's over. Everything goes. Our dress code goes. All the music CDs come back into our cars and we are bouncing with the, with the vehicle. Yesterday we were driving on the road. I thought we had a bit of an earthquake and I noticed all oh, the youngsters. May Allah protect us. You know the sound you're hearing right now in this stadium? Subhanallah. I think it was sound that was perhaps more than that. The ground was vibrating and it was just a vehicle crossing. And I looked at them and I said, Ya Allah, I hope these people, Allahu Akbar, I hope these people can replace with that which is beneficial by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah grant us goodness and ease. But we are guilty. We sometimes think that you got, to, you got to be a Muslim when you enter the masjid. So when you enter the masjid, mashallah, people come in and they read their salah. When they go out, they are frowning. They are frowning at the rest of their brothers and sisters. This is a serious crisis. People and I have claimed to be more religious. Their attitude stinks. Believe me. It smells so bad, you got to block your nose. Allahu Akbar. Some people who claim to be so religious, believe me, you'll find a man dressed so appropriately. And mashallah, he looks like he is such a, a religious person. But when he, he looks at you with the eyes and he, he's gritted his teeth and you greet him, Salaam Alaikum, and he just. You come to Africa, even the lions don't do that. They'll smile at you. Amazing. Yes.